today we will learn about reflection of light one of the most important optical phenomenon is a reflection of light very easy to understand the reflection of light in the previous class we learned it what is light now so it behaves like the all other forms of energy and one important properties of light is a reflection of light this is one important optical phenomenon what happen in case of the reflection of light let us consider a very easy practical fact now a ball is here it is dropped from the certain height and when it drops from the certain height it touches to the ground after that what happened after that the ball reaches to a height less than the height from which the ball is dropped again then ball drops from the height let us consider this is a and this is the b and then again the ball reaches to a certain height less than the height from which it is dropped that is at b that means the phenomena that occurs that the ball drops from a certain height and then moves back to the direction from which direction it drops that is the bouncing or bouncing of ball in case of the in case of the form of energy in case of each form of energy when energy falls on a surface some of the incidental energy goes back to the medium from which they are coming let us consider here ab is the surface ab is the surface light coming from here and if the light energy moves back or goes back to the first medium then this is called the reflection of light that means the energy bounces from the surface ab here the light energy coming from the medium particularly in a pattern and moves back with the same pattern if the incidental beams of light are parallel to each other the reflected light must be parallel to each other this is the bouncing back of light that is called the reflection of light similarly in another one figure here also reflection of light occurs but the surface is cd cd is the surface which is not as ab do the incidental beam parallel to each other but after reflection the light rays move in different direction the light rays move in different direction that means the reflected light rays are not in a particular pattern so depending on the surface that is here ab and here the cd here cd is the rough surface this is the rough surface and here ab ab is taken as the smooth polished surface smooth surface in both the cases reflection of light occurs but in case of the figure one from the polished surface here the light reflects with a particular pattern but in case of the rough surface light reflects but not in a particular pattern this is the regular reflection of light this is the irregular reflection of light the figure one is the regular reflection of light figure one that is the regular reflection of light this is regular reflection since the reflected light rays and the incident light rays are same pattern are in same pattern regular reflection of light and in case of the figure number 2 in case of figure number 2 the reflected light rays move in different direction do the incidental beam parallel to each other the reflected light rays are not parallel to each other that is why this is called 
the irregular reflection. Irregular reflection of light. In a particular direction, the amount of reflected light rays is reduced. That's why it is sometimes also called the diffused reflection. It is also called diffused reflection. In case of the reflection of light ray, here in case of the reflection of light ray, there are few components. These are called components of reflection of light. components of reflection of light. What are these? Let us consider AB is the reflecting surface, light ray coming from the point P, incident on the reflecting surface at the point O and finally goes back to the first medium along the path OQ. If a perpendicular is drawn at the point of incidence, let this is be ON. So, here the ON perpendicular on AB that is drawn when perpendicular on AB. That is why here few number of paths are here like that is the PO. PO is the path followed by the light ray when coming from one medium incident on the separating layer AB. So, PO is the incidental light ray. So, this is called the incident light ray. Incident light ray. PO is the incident light ray and O is the point of incidence. O that is called the point of incidence where the light ray incidence on the reflecting surface AB. OQ the path followed by the light ray after reflection. So, this is called reflected light ray. Reflected light ray reflected light ray, the path followed by the light ray after reflection. Here, OM is the perpendicular drawn on the reflecting surface AB at O. So, OM is called, this is called OM the normal. This is called normal. And now, a pair of angle is formed, that is the incident light ray with the normal, that is called angle of incidence angle of incidence that is the angle made by the incident light ray with the normal it is denoted by i that is p o n this is equal i and similarly another one angle is formed with the normal and the reflected light ray o q so this is called the angle of reflection angle of reflection This is called angle of reflection denoted by R. That is Q O N, Q O N, this is equal R. These are the components of reflection of light. And in this case, there is a particular law, laws of reflection of light, laws of reflection of light. Laws of reflection of light states that the number one, the number one incident light ray according to this figure, if we consider the figure that is from figure number three, from this figure we can say that the incident light ray that is PO, PO is the incident light ray and the reflected light ray that is OQ and the normal OL at O that is at the point of incidence lie on a same plane. They are coplanar, lie on same plane. That means they are coplanar. Number two, the second law, the pair of angles that are formed that is the angle of incidence P O N equal angle of reflection Q O N. These are the basic, these are the basic part of the reflection of light. So, very easy, very simple, when energy comes from a particular medium, falls on a surface, 
some part of it goes back to the first medium. So that is the reflection of light which is similar to the bouncing of ball. And these are the two different kinds of light, reflection of light, regular reflection, irregular reflection and these are the components of reflection of light and the, this is the laws of reflection of light. Okay, if you understand the reflection of light in an easy way and you think that this is the easy way to understand the reflection of light and the types of reflection of light, components of reflection of light, laws of reflection of light, please like the video and share it and subscribe it. Okay.